dear professional friends this is rv shegar practicing company secretary in this video i am going to discuss about an interesting trademark case patent case bayer versus union of india bayer bayer is a leading drug manufacturer pharmaceutical industry international pharmaceutical industry a compulsory patent license can be issued to an indian manufacturer against the patented product in the public interest in this case we are going to discuss about the what is meant by uh, voluntary license and compulsory license and uh, whether the compulsory license can be issued under public interest by patent authorities in india for the first time after india becomes signatory to the trips uh, that is international agreement on patent and copyrights and trademark the issue of compulsory licensing had tabled before the concerned authorities for consideration in this case of bayer corporation versus union of india bayer corporation is a renowned international pharmaceutical company which manufactures and owns lot of lot of patented drugs with it this was the first case where compulsory license was issued under section 84 of the patents act 1970 facts of the case petitioner bayer corporations were granted a subject patent by indian patent office on 3rd march 2008 sora peni prosilate that is sold in the market under the trade name of the drug is used in the treatment of liver and kidney cancer this drug has been used and rarely there is a drug for this disease and this bayer has introduced a drug for this disease which is meant for liver and kidney cancer the indian drug making company natco approached the petitioner that is payer for grant of voluntary license to the produce and sell the drug in india under its brand name at a price of rupees 10000 per month as against the expensive price of 280428 per month that was charged by the petitioner petitioner that is bayer corporation rejected the natco's application for grant of voluntary license of the drug nexavar to grant a compulsory license the patented drug can be manufactured and sold by a third party if the patent holder has granted permission for it say in a, in a patented drug it can be sold by manufactured and sold by third party if the patent owner grants permission for that after the denial of the voluntary license natco lodged an appli- application under section 84 one of the patents act 1970 to the control to the controller general of patent to get a compulsory license to manufacture and sell a nexavar sell the nexavar drug in india finally on 9th march 2012 controller granted a non exclusive non assignable compulsory license to natco to manufacture and sell the patented drug at a price of rupees 8800 and also directed them to pay the royalty of 6% to its net sales of of its net sales to the petitioner bayer till the time of patent bayer appealed against the pab order agreed by it bayer corporation appealed against the order of the compulsory license in 2013 in ipab intellectual property appellate uh, board contending that the order passed was the in contravention of the patent act the board rejected the contention of the bayer and upheld the controller general of patents finally bayer challenged both the orders of 2012 and 2013 passed by the control controller of general of patent and by the pab board on the issue of granting compuls- a compulsory license to the natco in the bombay high court the issues in the discussed in the bombay high court whether the compulsory license granted by the controller is in accordance with the provisions of the patent act did the respondent natco make efforts to obtain voluntary license from the patent holder bayer corporation rules apply what are the rules applied in this case section 83 of the patent act general principle applicable in work to working of patented inventions and section 84 compulsory license analysis of this case the fundamental objective behind the patent right is to safeguard the interest of inventor and with respect to public interest in the case at the end the personal 
right were suspending in the name of patents right as patent holder were selling the drug at a very much higher price. The main issue in this case at hand is about the issuance of compulsory licensing. In granting the compulsory license, all the requirements under the provisions of the Patent Act were fulfilled by the Controller General of Patent for granting compulsory license to NATCO. This was the main discussion in this case. The provisions which were analyzed by the court is Clause A, B, C of the Section 8419 of the Patents Act 1970 for granting compulsory license. Compulsory licensing. The conditions for granting compulsory licensing is fulfilled and the NATCO's application for compulsory licensing mentioned, mentioned the issues on which the petitioner were, take, were lacking. That is, drug was not satisfying the response, response, reasonable requirement of the public with regard to its various factors. The drug was not working in the territory of India. Here it means the drug was, be, was manufactured to a, to a reasonable extent in India comparing to the R&D also. On, the, on this point, the court took into the instance the meaning of the words worked in the territory of India. Section 33F of the Act states that there should not be issue, abuse of patent by patent holder in international trade. So, Section 33F clearly says there should not be abuse of patent by patent holder in the international trade. So, a patent holder cannot abuse his uh, uh, primary position and it going on minting money out of that patented product. It should be available to all the class of the society. Whether there is a lacuna in the judgment, the patent holder were abusing the, the, its patent rights that is bare by charging too much for medicine, but they also contended about R&D cost, about what that this might be a lacuna in the judgment, but it does not provide a strong contention to claim that judgment is. High court observed that the articles from TRIPS agreement were not completely taken into consideration and they were superseded by the legal framework of the country, that especially India, and court interpreted the articles of TRIPS in the literal sense and not in the purposive one. So mainly the differentiation is in the TRIPS agreement should be taken into literal sense, not in purposive one. But here also the court took a note that on Article 30, 31 of the TRIPS, under the TRIPS agreement, government can make a limited exemption to patent rights in uh, provided certain conditions are met. So even though the, the contract comes under the TRIPS agreement, international patent, the Article 31 of the TRIPS what says, under TRIPS agreement, government can, the local government like India, can make a limited exception to patent rights provided certain conditions are met. The decision by court in, is a win for the NATCO and a slight disadvantages to the Barley Corporation. Conclusion. The court accurately and rightly dismissed the petition of Bayer Corporation. The judgment clarified once again that no matter what the subject matter is, the public interest is at the top of most priority. The issue in the case was affecting the public at large. Objective behind the incorporation of Patent Act is to promote the innovation, to safeguard the credit of the inventor and the, to prevent them from any damn infringement of the patent. But it can not be misused by the patent holders as the main aim behind the all the legal framework related to IPR is the main mutual benefit for both the public and invention also. So in this uh, case, it has been clearly discriminated between there should be a fair use of the patent by the inventor. It should be in the public interest. They cannot going on making it money, minting money of it, out of it, out of their invention. The case is at hand presented a situation where personal interests were dominating over public interest. So, public in the case, when, when there is a public interest versus personal interest, public interest should be given more priority by the court. Just for earning profit on the patent, there was 
that was invented by the patent holder but court clarified that no one can misuse the right of patent and the great and the greater good will always prevail over the profiteering motive so there should not be a profiteering motive there should be a reasonable profiteering motive and should not be they should not going on minting money out of a patent drug patented a drug hence the case petition by parley corporation was dismissed by the bombay court and the court upheld the earlier decision by the ipab see what are the learning points from this case it is a very interesting case on patent and uh, how the international patent and applicability in india with, with the legal applicability under india under truck supplement agreement for the patented truck product an indian manufacturer can approach the patent holder for issue of voluntary license first a patent a manufacturer can approach the, the patent holder for issue of voluntary license at a reasonable terms on refusal the indian manufacturer can approach the patent authorities patent authorities to issue compulsory license in the public interest mainly at affordable cost so naturally you have to satisfy two two criteria one need the it, it can pay for compulsory license on what ground on the in the ground of public interest mainly at a affordable cost third is the high court observed that articles from trips agreement they are not completely taken into consideration and they are they were superseded by the legal framework of the country and the court interpreted that the articles of trips in the literal sense are not in the purposive sense so but here also the court take a note on the article 31 of the trips which allows a uh, uh, local government to have some exemptions if they want it so this is a very interesting case my dear friends and uh, this is a very uh, the, how the patent holder can consider to issue a compulsory licensing or voluntary licensing at an affordable cost in the public interest this is a very interesting case thank you for watching this uh, video if you like it please share it please like it please subscribe my channel so that whenever you issue a new video on any subject will reach you directly thanking you once again This is Arvi Shagar, Practicing Company Secretary.